Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Stick around with me because I am cooking ginisang sarisari and inihaw na bangus for dinner. These are very common staples in the Philippines and pretty simple to cook. So if you have different kinds of vegetables that had been lying in your fridge for a while and sometimes you don't really know what to do with them until you have to toss them in the trash can because it had become rotten, here's what I do with the different vegetables I have before they get rotten. If you notice, I'm chopping different kinds of vegetables. I started with a yellow kabocha squash or calabaza and now I'm chopping up eggplants. I'm actually chopping or slicing them the same shapes, thin slices like that, all of the vegetables actually. And now I'm slicing up the chayote squash. And these are the taro root or gabi. So I'm just slicing them up the same way. And I also have some white stock bok choy or we call it pet chai in the Philippines. The white stock, I added it in the other vegetables and I separated the leaves. So I also sliced up some spices such as the garlic. Then the tomatoes. And then the onions. I sliced up a piece of a small piece of pork belly uh, just to give the vegetables a meaty flavor. Of course you can use any type of meat there. Whatever is available. So here are the ingredients. Actually, sari sari is a Filipino term that means mixed. So in this case, they are mixed vegetables. And for sauteed vegetables, garlic, onion, and tomatoes are the commonly used spices. So I also have the leafy green part of the pet chai or white stalk, a bok choy, placed separately because we will add it in last. Then of course, I had sliced pork belly, salt ground, black pepper, and soy sauce. We start uh, in a hot pan, we add the pork belly and we keep stirring it so that it releases its own fats and gets fried. And once it is golden brown, we add in the garlic. Then the onions. Then the tomatoes.
So we are now ready to add in the sari sari vegetables. They were soaked in water because sliced eggplants have a tendency to turn brown if we don't soak it in water. We then mix it. Then we add little water, just little. Because the vegetables themselves also releases uh, water. So I put salt and pepper to taste. And I will let that steam for around five minutes. I added in the soy sauce. And then the green part, the green leafy part of the pecha is also added in. So this is our ginisang sari sari or sautéed mixed vegetables. And our protein source for this evening is the national fish of the Philippines, which is bangus or milkfish. And we are just grilling it. But first, we prepare the spices. So we need to stuff in the belly of the fish before grilling it. So I sliced up tomatoes. onions, and I also added in some lemon juice. And we just add the salt in it. And if you notice, I have to be generous with salt because it is expected to flavor all of the meat inside the fish. And the milkfish is already gutted, so the inside is clean. I removed the gills and all the innards, and I just put all of those spices inside the belly. And I chose not to remove the scale so that the fish meat will not fall apart when we grill it. So we just stuff them all in the belly and the gill part. And then we put salt on the outside of the fish. And now we're ready to grill it. And as I have mentioned in my previous videos, when grilling any fish, we should only turn it over when it lets us and not force it, or we will have scattered fish meat on the grill. So we just make sure that the inside part of the meat is fully cooked before we take it off the grill. If you have a cover on your grill, you can also put the cover on for a few minutes to make sure the meat inside is cooked. So here is the grilled milkfish, or in Nihao na Bangus, you don't have to eat the skin and the meat is perfectly juicy. So with grilled anything, we always have dipping sauce with spices. So I am making one for the fish. It is just made of tomatoes, onions and lemon or lemon juice. And I also added in some hot pepper for this one. These are Thai peppers and they're not very hot. They're just 
a little hot. So I put a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of fish sauce, and vinegar. And that's our dipping sauce for the fish. Bon appetit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.